stampers this is dawn and today we're going to make this cute little center step card the center has the steps part okay so you might remember these other cards this one was made last week which is the horizontal side step card it had the steps on the sides and then this one we made yesterday which was the side step card which this one just had the steps on the side of the card and i used the photo as the focal point for my card so if you want to make a christmas card with a photograph that would be even more fun and more personable so and then this one i also added another photograph just to give you an idea you don't have to add the photo you can also add just another greeting or even add some more of the animals on the center part of the card so let's go ahead and get started okay so let's start with the measurements we're going to start with the pool party and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and then you're going to need two pieces of whisper white and these are both cut at three fourths by four this piece is cut at let me see here by one by three and three quarter okay so let's grab our paper trimmer so now this one is still going to be a step card but it's going to be in the center for the step card so we're going to start on the edge here at one inch and once again we're going to cut starting at one and a quarter down to six and a quarter so one and a quarter down to six and a quarter then we're going to slide it down to four and a half and that should be one inch on both sides so we're going to also start at one and a quarter and cut down again to six and a quarter okay, so this is your one inch cut line here so now we're going to score in the center so we're going to turn on the eight and a half inch side remember this is going to be the back side of our card so we're going to score on the eight and a half inch side and we're going to line this up at one and a quarter this time we're going to score in between the cut lines grab my scoring blade all right so one and a quarter so score between the cutting marks and then two and a quarter score between the cut lines three and a quarter cut lines then four and a quarter remember this is the halfway mark so we're going to score this all the way across at four and a quarter and then we're going to take this down to six and a quarter and we're going to score it right between the cut lines again okay all right now we're going to fold remember we're going to fold on the half right and then we're going to fold our score lines in accordion style again so we're going to fold down up down and up and then this back center should be folded back and then that's going to make your card for <laughs> i love it so then we're going to take our bone folder and burnish the score lines really nice okay so you can see the difference with the three step cards right so you have the center step card looks like this we're going to decorate that together but i just want to show you that you can tell the difference here now this step is on the sides okay so you have the horizontal side step card and then this one is the side step card which is just on the side step right there for that card so three totally different step cards but we're using the same items just to kind of bring it into a sweet kind of a theme we're gonna glue our three-fourths by four inch over here put that right on the side Then this one. Okay, then our center panel. Okay. 
then I did cut out the same critters from the Freezing Fun. So let me show you that stamp set again and the dies. So here's the stamp set, Freezing Fun, and then the Freezing Friends in the, the dies. And you can purchase these in a bundle and save 10% right now. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out the raccoon, the bunny, the seal, and then a couple of the smaller trees, and then the snowball hill. But I don't think we're going to use them all on this card because it's laid out a little bit different. Now, I do got a picture of me and my husband on our Harley here, so I thought that that would be cute. So now the picture for this one, my Bermuda Bay is cut at three and a quarter wide by four. Okay, so you want to make sure when if you're putting a picture in this type of card, you want to make sure you're going all the way down at the bottom of that step, that back step, because you want this section of the card to be flush so it fits into a regular size envelope. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the picture in the back, but then here's my little animals here. So let's decide what we're going to do. I'm going to put course the greeting on maybe we should start there let me grab some dimensionals I don't think I have dimensionals on the greeting I think all the other ones have them on the dimensionals so we'll position the greeting on first and that's going to go right here in the center just like that and then we're just going to put our little animals on I think I'm going to put my bunny over here to the left <laughs> so cute and then we'll put my raccoon over on the right hand side just like that and then of course you can add another piece of whisper weight for that step too and add um, maybe the seal or even the trees and the snowballs Okay, so you can see I cut all them out, but I'm going to add those animals on there right now. And I'm going to add my picture. Let me go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to use the liquid glue for that too. Remember, you're going to only put the adhesive up so far on the back panel. And then you're going to slide that all the way down into the step where it starts to fold up on that score line. So when it folds up, it's going to be closed up like that, okay? So now there's a few extra things I'm going to add to this one. Of course, the dazzling diamonds. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and tie some ribbon with this pool party sheer ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to tie a bow. This panel here. I'm actually going to tie a knot on both of the sides here. You could tie a bow, or maybe you could tie a knot and then put a bow on top of it. Totally up to you what you want to do. I'm just going to angle that. Okay. Isn't that cute? I'm going to do the other side. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to add some glitter. Remember, I'm using the retired Dazzling Diamonds. I'm just going to slide my little ribbon here on the sides just so that they're kind of even. We're going to add some glitter along the bottom edge. So I'm going to grab my 2A glue pen again and I'm just going to scribble some glue on the bottom. You can also put it on the top, on the panels. I just want it to be right where the animals are having fun in the snow. I'm going to put some glue on their hats and their scarves. Sled. Okay, so cute. Okay, so let's put some dazzling diamonds on this. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Okay, so this is the center step card because the step is in the center, okay? And then we have this one, 
the horizontal side step because the step is on the side. So adorable. And then this one is the side step, which is just the step is on the side. So instead of adding the photo, if you don't want to add a photo for your Christmas card, you can just decorate this centerpiece with just a humongous greeting if you wanted to. I just wanted to show you the option that you could add a photo to your Christmas cards this year. So cute. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'll have all the items listed down below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later. Bye.